Today we are going to use rational equations to solve word problems. We are going to solve work problems as well as motion problems using rational equations. In solving work problems, if a job can be done in t hours, then 1 over t of it can be done in 1 hour. This condition holds for any unit of time. The first example says that Sally can type one page in 10 minutes and Tim can type one page in 15 minutes. How long will it take them to type 100 pages if they work together? So we need to set up an equation. In my equation, I am going to say that Sally works one tenth of their time and Tim will work one fifteenth of the time and together they will make a hundred pages. So t over 10 plus t over 15 will give me 100. So now if I find a common denominator 3t plus 2t over 30 will give me 100 pages. 5t over 30 is 100. So 5t will equal to 3,000. And if I divide by 5, t will equal to 600 minutes. Or t will equal to 10 hours. In the first example, if Sally can type one page in 10 minutes, Tim can type one page in 15 minutes, how long will it take them to type 100 pages if they work together? So I'm going to say that my time is t, and to set up the equation, I will say Sally will work one tenth times the time, and Tim will work one fifteenth times the time, one fifteenth of the time. And if they work together, they need to type a hundred pages. So if we find a, find a common denominator, then we'll get 3 over 30t plus 2 over 30t, which is equal 100. So that's 5t over 30 equals 100. 5t then will equal to 3,000, and if I divide by 5, t will equal to 600 minutes or 10 hours. So if they work together, it will take them 10 hours to finish, finish the job. In this second problem, a swimming pool has two input pipes, A and B. Pipe A can fill the pool in two days and pipe B can fill the pool in three days. How long will it take to fill the pool using both pipes? So again, we are going to set up an equation and for pipe A is going to be 1 over 2 times T. And for type pipe B, it will be 1 over 3 times T. And together, they will need to fill one swimming pool. So again, we find a common denominator. So 3T over 6 plus 2T over 6 will give me 1. So 5T will equal to 6 
and t will equal to 6 fifth or 1 and 1 fifth of a day. which means that if we want to fill the pool using pipe A and B, it will take a day and a fifth to fill the pool. Jerome's new tractor plows four times as fast as Luke's old one. Working together, they can plow Luke's field in four hours. How long would it take Luke to plow his own field alone? So since Jerome is going four times faster, if I call Jerome to be X, then Luke will need four times as much time to plow the field. So if I set up my equation, I'm going to have 1 over X, which is the share of Jerome, and times the 4 because the time is 4 hours, plus 1 over 4x times 4, and that will give me one job of plowing the field. So if I rewrite it, I get 4 over x plus 4 over 4x equals 1, and if I simplify by 4, I just get 4 over x plus 1 over x equals 1. So 5 will equal to x, which means that if Jerome plows the field, he will need 5 hours. But if Luke plows the field, then he will need 4 times 5 or 20 hours to plow the field by himself. It takes 2 hours to drive between the towns of Potter and Germantown. It takes 8 hours to make the trip by bicycle. How long will it take for a car and a bicycle to meet starting at opposite towns at the same time. So that means the two, the bicycle and the car, will cover the distance together. So I start setting up as one half x plus one eight x, and together they will cover that one distance. So if I find a common denominator, it will be 4x over 8 plus 1x over 8 equals 1. 5x will equal to 8, and x will be 8 fifth, or 1 and 3 fifth of an hour. In this next problem, two canoes paddle 10 kilometers upstream in five hours. They make the return trip in only one hour. Assuming that the canoes paddle at the constant rate, what's the speed of the current? So we have to know when we are going against the current, then we need to subtract the speed of the current, and when we go with the current, we need to add the speed of the current. The distance in both directions is 10 kilometers. So if I use the equation of distance equals rate times time, my distance in one direction is 10, and when I'm going against the current, I'm going upstream, my rate will be that I have to subtract the rate of the current, and I will have 5 hours of time to do this. And if I do my return trip, 
Again, I am going to go 10 kilometers, but in this case, the current will help me. So my rate have to be added to the, or the rate of the current has to be added to my rate. And the time in this case will only be one hour. So on the left hand side, if I divide the equation by five, I will get two equals the rate minus the current. And on the right hand side, I have 10 equals the rate plus the current. So I can use systems of equations to solve the problem or I can divide um, of the equations and set them equal to one another. So I'm just going to plainly use system of equations. So if I put the first equation under the second one, I'm going to have 2 equals the rate minus the current. And if I add the two equations, I get 12 equals 2 times the rate. So the rate will equal to 6 kilometer per hour. And this will be my rate. So now I need to find the rate of the current. So 2 equals 6 minus the current. If I subtract 6, I will get negative 4 equals negative current. So the rate of the current will be 4 kilometers per hour.